What's up, everybody? What's up, world? It's your boy Boots Green back at Gizin. Yeah, I'm here with another uh, family member. Um, and yeah, I know y'all been hearing me say that, so that's how you know shit is real over here on this podcast. But yo, today I got a brother from another mother. He's toured the world with a bunch of people, and he's touring the world right now with uh, Corey, Henry, uh, Corey Henry, and he's played for a bunch of people, but I'm going to let him tell you guys, so please, everybody, please, in the name of love, please, everybody give a huge round of applause for, uh, I'm going to say, I, I, I used to call him Tayron, but I've been hearing people say Tehran. So can you just can you just, can you just can you just clarify it for me, bro? I don't want to say this wrong. What's up, what's up, everybody? It's mm-hmm. Tehran. <laughs> so it was Tehran. Yeah. Somebody said it was. Somebody said it was. Man, see, I ain't listening to people no more. Somebody said it was. It was Tehran. Nah, man, Tehran. Like, like capital Iran. That's whack sauce. We're not supposed to say. Well, well, shit. At least I know. Damn it, everybody, Tehran locking on this line. <laughs> so, we here. I got it right. Y'all get it right. So, bro, what's up, man? How are you? Man, well, mm-hmm. feeling good mm-hmm. out here in this cold Cali weather. <laughs> it's cold, it's cold over there right now? It's cold? Yeah, man, it's freezing. Damn. That's whack. It's supposed to be sunny in beaches and bitties. <laughs> but what they say. That's what, that's, what, that's what they say. Right. Lying asses. But no, man. So let's get right into it, bro. Um, I get shit. I guess we might as well start right from the from the end to the beginning because you're doing some things right now. Like, you, I know you just at the NAM 2017. Uh, I just talked to Brian and a few other people that was there. So, I mean, if you don't mind, man, just, you know, let the world know, you know, what it was like being there and the, the experience and how you even got to this point. Man, uh, now this year, this is actually my third time going. This is uh, this year was by far my favorite, man. Just the camaraderie mm-hmm. of people and meeting people and the love that was shown out there. Right, right. Especially with you know what's going on now with me and some of my colleagues, mm-hmm. and you know just anybody in the industry, man. It's just good to see people doing good and seeing right. people, you know. Get shown love for what they're doing. Exactly, simple like that, yo. <laughs> Just get love, getting shown for. Yes, that's true, bro. That's true. Man. So I mean, like, did you? You know, was it? Is it? Was it dope seeing a lot of your, you know, influences and being able to sit down with them and talk to them or whatever? Yeah, man. Uh, this year, I got to meet some of my idols, man, and to know that one of them knew who I was. Mm-hmm. I got starstruck. Man. Right. <laughs> I, I got starstruck, man. And to see that people, even just noticing who you are, man, it, it's a blessing. I'm, right. Boots, I'm grateful, bro. That's the no yeah. way to say it, man. <laughs> I'm humbled. I love you for that. Well, that's what I'm talking about. This is how he's been. Yo, he's been like this since the first time I met him. Like, I met him years ago. Matter of fact, since you're talking about that, we toured together. Right. We to- Who we toured with? Who's that, yo? Who's that? Badu. Look at that. Miss Badu. Badu. That was 2011. Jeez. Look at that, man. And now you're like... And yo, what's crazy is... Y'all don't know this, but I remember when I met him, I, I told him, like, this ain't no, like, like no prophecy, John, or anything like that. But I was like... I never forget. I was just like, yo, you about to be out, bro. Like, I was like, because I heard you play the drums. And I was like, yeah, you playing percussion. I get it. You just filling in. You helping out. And, you know, you, you know the squad. Cool. But I was like, you should have been playing the drums. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> I was like, you might as well just play the gig, but I, I'm just grateful nah, to see. Man. Huh? It's a time and a season for everything, man. Some, oh, yeah. Sometimes, you know, you just got to sit and wait till your turn, man. I'm just being patient. Right, but it's, right. It's a poem what, called The Test of a Man, and, and one part of the poem, it says, man, it takes a man to stand and cheer while the other fellow starts. And hell, I've just been standing wow. and cheering. Wow. Say that one more time for me. Please say that one more time for me, bro. There's a poem called The Test of a Man. You can Google it. And uh, one of the uh, lines in the poem is, 
It takes a man to stand and cheer while the other fellow stars. And that's true. That's a testament to my life, man. Right. That's great, man. That is like that seriously just hit me a little bit. That's that's some crazy because it's because that's that's the thing that we have an issue with now, you know, when it comes to I mean in general, but definitely in the music world, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of cats is trying to take other people's gig or trying to undermine people or, or undercut people, and it's like that's just not what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, your season will come. So I'm man, yeah. I'm I'm glad if you stump, man. You just hit me with that one. For real. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Sure. I, I hit myself with that one all the time, man. And it keeps me in my place because right. I don't feel like I'm better than anybody. Mm -hmm. I just want to play my, you know, play my role right. and stay in my lane, man. Right. Because there's room for everybody. It sure is. And it's like all 7 billion that. people. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if you, if you look at it like that, man, you realize that <laughs> you will have a spot somewhere. Right. Just work for it. Earn it. Man, shit earn it. Mmm. Wait for it. Earn it. Cause ain't shit given to you. Bam. <laughs> you got some things today, boy. You got some quizzles. I tell you that much. <laughs> you got some quotes today, oh, boy. Man, it's like I learned. I learned from you guys, man. man. You know, we have we're on the back, backs and shoulders of you guys. Y'all paid the way for us. You're not even so. that much older than me, so it's like you got <laughs> right. credit what credit is due. That's right. That's true, though, bro. That's man. That's damn. You're you're you are you are a grown. You like 67 right now. You're like an old <laughs> head that been around this world 18 times, though. Like that's what's up, man. Thank you for being who you are and humble, man. But I I, I gotta say, I'm grateful to know you because, like I said, you've been doing so much with you know Corey Henry and you know uh, of course the brother of yours and brother of mine, Cleon. Um, you know, it's just amazing. My to, boy. Right. <laughs> It's amazing to know that, you know, you got to see you guys overseas and knowing that we were all, you know, playing for artists or that we all played for artists at a time. But now we're, you know, you're really doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you have a, you have a squad, you have Corey, and then you got another squad, on it, like, you know, your own music. And tell the world, like, how, how did that, like, how did that even come about? Whereas if, like, you know, you just was like, I'm out. This is it. I, I, I see that shit. Um, man, you know, playing with Corey, it's kind of funny how they even came about, man, because mm -hmm. I was just, they started the band, the, the first show was in Dallas. <laughs> mm -hmm. The first show was in Dallas, and I didn't play that show, but the next show, you know, Corey asked me to sit in, and I sat in, I think it was like Afro Brooklyn, and I played percussion, mm -hmm. and, you know, after that, Somehow I fell on the drums and I never got up. So, okay. At the end of the day, like, the influence from Corey and, you know, the influence from basically peers, in a sense. Like, like you said earlier, like, you know, we're the same age, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, like, do you think that's crazy that your brother or your homie that's like the same age is like, yo, we're both moving in the same path right now at the same speed and the same energy like you know what I'm saying like opposed to it being like oh man I wish you was here with me bro I wish I was there with you bro you know what I'm saying like you know how does that feel I know, it's, it, it, it's amazing man you know for those of you guys that don't know Cleon that was I'm pretty sure you do find out about him the boy is phenomenal you know he's my big brother we've been playing together since we were kids, man. Right, right. We just have a good camaraderie, you know, and how to compliment each other and stay out of each other's way, you know, to play for the music and not for ourselves. There you go. Another gym. Bling. Another gym. You dropping them Jones today, boy. I tell you that. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how long you been doing this, yo? How long you been, you know, a touring musician? Uh, it started, I was in college. Uh, mm -hmm. What 2008? Damn. You know, I was just going to hang out with uh, you know, RC and Chris and them in New Orleans. You mm -hmm. know, at the Erica show, she was coming down, you know, to do a festival. And me driving down there, got halfway there, I found out I was going to have to play the gig. <laughs> wow. Never life, played the life gig of a musician. And yeah, 
never played the gig before, I ended up playing the gig, and she told me she liked my feel, and maybe some, not too long after that, I got a call asking did I have my passport. I didn't. I said, Aww. I'll get it tomorrow, <laughs> not knowing the process of it. Right, right. But somehow, man, it, it worked out. I got my passport the next day, man, and I haven't looked back since. God is great, man. God is great, yo. Yeah, he is, man. How about him know? Y'all allowed to know. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. That's that's so. Y'all make sure, like, you please follow him, man, because this is this is what we do. Like, we, you know, even though it's, it's social media and you really can't see us or, or, like, be with us physically a lot, but understand, man, that we love, you know, doing what we do, you know what I'm saying, for for us, our family, but we also love doing this for y'all because, you know, it's we're examples, you know what I'm saying? We're examples and we're, and we're vessels, yes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just grateful for you even taking the time out to, you know, explain this life and this game for, you know, coming from your side and, you know, just let just let everybody know the, the real and the truth of this, man. Um, is there what anything? You, do? you know I got you hundred grand, man. Man, thank you, brother. Take Ron, God damn, brother, take Ron like it. Everybody, take Ron like it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, seriously, thank you, man. And I, in the same here, you know I got you anytime, man. Like you know what it is. We always check on each other. So um, yeah, so nigga, I want some chicken and waffles that you're cooking over there. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, you know I, you know ain't no game over here, boy. This podcast is real. We be cooking while we talking. <laughs> No gays over here, yo. But um, so yo, please make sure y'all follow. Oh, matter of fact, you tell them, you let them know where they can find all the all the material, the music, and and everything. All right, guys, you can follow me on uh, I would say Facebook, but just hey on Instagram, Tayroni T A R O N E Y. Mm-hmm. Um, the Twitter stuff and all that. Uh, my website's coming soon. You'll hear more about that when it comes out. But yeah, man. I'm not hard to reach y'all. Right. <laughs> right. <That's, laughs> people don't understand, man. We talk to people. We, we do not have 18 billion million followers and we can't reach y'all. So hit us up, nah. man. Hit him up. You know what I'm saying? So we love you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Like, bro, I love you from my heart, man. Thank you so much. Love well, you too, man. Thanks for calling, bro. For real. So y'all be safe. And y'all know what it is. Boots Green. Say Ron Lockett signing off. 2017. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.